Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, and hey, what's up, if you are new here. Today on Katie Vision, I am talking about all things hair. I am doing an updated hair care routine. I had a viewer comment on a recent video, I think it was probably on my Heatless Curls video that I made. Uh, she had commented that I should do a hair care routine or update, just do like a new hair care routine. I've made some changes to my hair care. Uh, looking back at the video I have already made about my hair, I don't think I, maybe I'll have to go watch it. I don't know that I've changed a ton of things. I've definitely, I definitely followed the same routine, reg, reg, regimen, regim, regimen. I follow the same routine. I think I've just updated mainly my shampoo and conditioner, but we'll get into that, okay? All right, before we get too far into this, I just want to say I am sharing this not to necessarily influence you. <laughs> I don't want you to feel like what you're using isn't working. I'm not saying you need to scrap all of your hair care products, get, get rid of them all and go purchase these. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just sharing if you're interested, the products that I use on my hair, the routine I follow to take care of my hair and everyone's hair is different. Uh, this is what has been working for me and I've really enjoyed these products. I have some that I probably need to repurchase. I'm running low on. I will say before sharing anything, I, I would recommend these products to any of you. So hopefully this video will bring you some, maybe it'll bring you some inspiration. Maybe it'll bring you maybe just hearing about some of these products. Maybe if you're looking for an item similar to these, uh, it'll be a good recommendation for you and you can go look into it, do your own research, of course, uh, ask your hairstylist, ask a friend, look at reviews, all things like that. So let's get into this video and talk about all, all about my hair. Before we get into the products and the routine I follow, I just want to give you a little bit of background on my hair. So I'm going to keep talking, but I'm going to share a little video of myself that I took the other day after washing my hair. And I just wanted to show you, this is what my hair looks like after I wash it. And what happens more often than not is that um, since I wash my hair at night and I let my hair air dry, there are quite a few, more often than not, my hair ends up being a little bit wet or damp. When I fall asleep, I try to avoid that. Um, but the next day I end up just having some like random like little waves and some texture, little waves. So my hair dries pretty straight, but again, I just have a little bit of wave in there. That's what my hair looks like just after washing and letting it air dry. Some more information about my hair. I wash my hair every like five to seven days. It might be more often than that, just depending on what I'm up to. Like if we go swimming, if we're at the lake, um, or if I'm outside and like super sweaty, more often than not, like I'm gonna probably end up washing my hair more than just once a week. Some other information, I I don't color my hair at all. This is all my natural color now. I had gotten, I used to like middle school, high school years, I would color my hair. I would go for the like bleach blonde. I'd get like super bright highlights, really pretty. I loved it for a while. And then I kind of slowly just started to embrace my natural hair color. And then I think the most recent hair color I had done was just the lightening of these face framing pieces. Uh, those had have since grown all grown out. And then a couple months ago, when I got my hair cut, my stylist um, just chopped everything she had cut off um, as any hair that had dye in it. And then the pieces that I had blonde were just my face frame and she had trimmed those off too. So I can confidently say this is all my natural hair color we got going on here. All right, so that's pretty much all like the background inf information regarding my hair. If you have more questions about it though, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Let's get into the products I use. I will link everything I can down below. And like I said, I would recommend any of these products. Let's get into shampoo and, con shampoo and conditioner. I am now using shampoo and conditioner by Aveda. I love, I love this line. I love this brand and they just have done really great things for my hair. My hairstylist definitely recommends this brand. And I, I think I strayed away from it at first just because it's a little pricey, but I'm like, you know, it's worth it. And 
because I am not washing my hair super often and I don't need to keep up with color or anything like that. And like, I can justify spending a little more on my shampoo and conditioner. I feel like I'm, it lasts me such a long time. So like I said, this is by Aveda. It's the Nutra Plenish shampoo and conditioner. Uh, it's described as light moisture. This has really just provided me with the moisture I need. I feel like I've always, my hair has been, well, it's gone through different seasons. You know, it's been, I've struggled with dryness and I've struggled with oiliness, but I think I've been able to train my hair pretty well now. And this has just provided the care that I need. I end up shampooing a couple of times just because my hair is pretty thick and it's long. It's been a lot longer than this, but I like keeping it long. Uh, so I end up shampooing a couple of times. But yeah, these are really great. I also love the scent. It's like a flowery, like a floral scent, I would say, but it's not super like potent. It's, just, it's a nice scent and I like it. So I will link this line below. You can explore these products yourself. And then every other wash, what I like to do is go in with this Way Thick Hair Treatment Mask. They make a few different, I think they make, I know they at least make a couple of these masks, just different formulas. I think they have one for fine hair. I have the one for thick hair. And like I said, I do it every other wash. I'm not doing it every single time I wash my hair. Um, I, I go in with every other. So this definitely helps out with softening and smoothing, especially my ends. I feel like it's really important that you leave it in for a good chunk of time. I know it's so easy. I'll put this in and then I'll rush through and rinse it out and you just don't get the same effect. So it's really important. Like you put this in your hair and then if you could save, I usually time it. So like, I need to like shave my legs. Um, I might exfoliate, like do all the things, do as many things as in the shower as you can um, while this is in your hair. So I'll do a shampoo and then I've been doing this instead of my conditioner most times. There are times so that I'll put like my con some conditioner up here and then I'll just save this for like the ends. So it really depends on what I'm feeling, but I will say this I'm only using like every other week. And when I use it, I go all in. And I make sure I really let it sit for that five to 10 minutes. I try to get closer to 10 minutes um, just to really let it soak in and do its job. And then when I'm not using that mask, I'll alternate with this product. So this is a leave-in conditioner by that same, um, by Aveda. It is that same Nutriplenish line, but it's a leave-in conditioner. So the days I don't use this mask, I make sure I use this. And so I'll do my shampoo and conditioner in the shower. And then this is a leave-in conditioner it's really for detangling and protecting. And I was using this after every wash and I realized um, it was really helping, but then at around the same time I ended up getting this, which I need to get better at because I end up buying these great products at the same time. And then I feel like I'm not using them up. So I've been alternating just to make sure I'm using both of these. Um, and I would recommend these for sure. So this one, you just mist on your damp hair after washing. You can put it on dry hair, uh, but I always do it on wet hair. Like I said, on the times I'm not using that um, that mask. And this really does help with the detangling. I struggle with that sometimes, um, but it is so nice. And it's that same scent as a shampoo and conditioner and it works really well. I'm able to spray it in and it really helps me get those tangles out. I don't know if I mentioned, but I don't have a ton of hair products and I'm sharing the products that I'm using consistently. There are a handful that I'll throw in every now and then, but those, those maybe I'll share in other videos or maybe I have shared, but these are like my go-to products, like my holy grail items that I'm using consistently. All right. And after every time I wash my hair, um, I am using this Bondi Boost Intensive Spray. I have shared this before you guys. This has been what has helped me with some of my thinning spots on my hairline. I've always had this area here, um, just part of my hairline. It's always been thin here, but if you can see like these pieces, 
I really feel like I've had some growth. I've experienced some hair growth there because of this product. This is the only thing, this is the only explanation I have for why I've had success with growing my hair in that spot. The other side, you know, my hairline is a little thinner there, but it's not as, it wasn't as sparse as it is on this side. So I started using this a few years back and I'm going to keep, keep using it. This does say to, you can, it says to, you can apply it every day. It says once a day. I, like I said, have stuck with using it on just the days I wash my hair and I'm using this every time I wash my hair. And it is a product that you spray directly onto your scalp and you can just gently massage it with your fingertips. It says apply once a day to wet or dry hair. And then for best results, of course, it says to pair it with their um, shampoo and conditioner. It is a leave-in formula and it is lightweight and the scent is super great. So this is another one. I've... I'm getting to the bottom of that I'm going to need to buy another one. It's paraben sulfate and silicone free, vegan friendly, cruelty free, Australian made. This has done wonders, like I said already, just for that those thinning spots in my hair. So I would highly recommend this one. Use it consistently. Again, all hair is different. Everyone's different. You might have different results, but I'm just saying that since using, I've used this consistently, I can really say that I've seen a difference in my hair. Last but not least, and this is an area where I'm willing to explore some other options. So I need your recommendations in the comments. I go back and forth on my heat protectants. When I curl my hair, I've used heat. I have been using heat. I have a curling wand. I did share recently a heatless, cur heatless curls tutorial that I just really, I'm going to keep experimenting with to really get the look down. In the meantime though, I am using an iron on my, I am using a curling iron wand on my hair. Again, like once a week, my hair does hold these curls pretty well. So I curled these on Friday. And they just, they hold up. Um, but yeah, that's an area where I need your recommendations. I'm looking for a, another heat protectant. Not that this one hasn't done a great job. This one's by Tresemme, heat protection up to 450 degrees protects against heat damage, leave-in spray. And this is one that's just been like my trusty go-to. I've always used this. And even if I've like tried a different one, if I don't like it or if I don't like the scent, I just go back to this one. So I don't know, I'll probably just keep sticking with this one. But if you have a recommendation of a heat protectant that you feel like has really helped your hair, um, maybe it has a really great scent, I do really like a nice smelling product. So if you have recommendations, let me know in the comments because this one's running low too. And I'll probably either go back and buy a new one or maybe if you guys leave me one that you love, maybe I'll try that one out next. And just a couple other things. I don't know how much you guys are into. If, if you're still watching this, you must really be interested in my hair. And I love that. Um, please like this video and leave me a comment just saying, hey, I'd love to hear from you and hear um, what you'd like to see next. And thank you to the viewer who mentioned that I should make this video. If it weren't for you, I probably would have looked past it and just said, nah, nobody cares. But who, who knows? Maybe a lot of you will end up seeing this and it'll make me so happy. A couple other things. I just wanted to share um, hairbrush. Tried and true. I used the dry bar, uh, the dry bar lemon paddle. Paddle, paddle brush. The hair in this is crazy, but this is my go-to brush. I love using it to brush out my curls. This is what I use on wet hair, dry hair. Yeah, my go-to. And then just one other thing, I'm just thinking of products that a lot of people use on a regular basis for their hair. Uh, these hair ties by, I think is it Gimme Hair? Maybe I'll shoot up a little, uh, put up a little screenshot, but I love these things. I have a pack of I do like the black, there's black, brown, gray, and blonde. I feel like they hold up my hair well. My hair is, like I said, pretty thick and heavy. It's able to hold up my hair in a high ponytail, a bun, low ponytail, whatever, whatever I need to do. I feel like these, these do the job. 
All right, you guys, so that's pretty much everything for my hair care routine and all the products that I'm currently using and loving. I will be sure to link everything in the description below that I'm using right now, and I'll include other items that maybe I think of after this that I would recommend. Like I said, though, these, the ones that, the products I shared with you are my go-to, like my, my ride or die, my holy grail items that I've been loving for my hair. If you have any favorites, please leave those in the comments. Let's let's help each other out. Let's um, give each other some recommendations. I would love to hear from you guys. Please feel free to leave me other video recommendations or if you have other questions, whatever it is, let's, let's, let's chat about it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care guys. I'll see you in my next one.